In the realm of healthcare-associated infections, Acinetobacter baumani is a species that has become increasingly significant. This is due to the pathogen's drug-resistant nature and unexpected susceptibility patterns, making empirical and therapeutic decisions more challenging. Acinetobacter baumani is a type of bacteria that can cause serious infections, especially in hospitalized patients. It is often resistant to many antibiotics, making it difficult to treat. Welcome to Infectious World, the channel dedicated to discussing microbiology and public health topics. Treatment options for resistant Acinetobacter baumannii include tigecycline. Tigecycline belong to the glycylcyclines class. T works by inhibiting the 30S ribosomal subunit. Its primary advantage over other tetracycline antibiotics is its ability to evade the typical tetracycline-specific resistance mechanisms. Tigecycline has a broader range of activity. Minocycline as well as doxycycline are also treatment options in the management of drug-resistant Acinetobacter baumani. Of note is that, while minocycline is FDA-approved for Acinetobacter infections, susceptibility testing should be conducted for each agent. A study showed that out of eight patients who received minocycline for wound infections, seven were successfully treated. Studies have shown that the addition of colistin to carbapenem-based regimens has yielded impressive results. The success of this approach can be attributed to the ability of colistin to enhance membrane permeability, thereby improving the capacity of carbapenems to reach their binding site. This synergistic activity can prevent the regrowth of bacteria, which is often seen in vitro against single agents, especially colistin. Still on combination treatments, dual beta-lactam therapy against colistin-resistant Acinobacter baumannii. Studies have shown that cefidericol and meropenem exhibit strong synergistic activity when used in combination. This is due to their binding to complementary PBPs, resulting in complete saturation. Other agents that are intrinsically inactive against abomanii, such as rifampicin, glycopeptides, and phosphomycin, have been combined with colistin to overcome resistance. It was also found that triple therapy regimens involving colistin, a carbapenem, and either sulbactam or tigecycline have been shown to be effective, even against non-responsive isolates. The rationale for these triple combinations is similar to that of combination therapy, where the increased occupancy of penicillin binding proteins, PBPs for short, with sulbactam and or the inhibition of protein synthesis with tigecycline synergizes with colistin and the carbapemem to overcome resistant genotypes present within colistin-resistant Acinetobacter baumannii isolates. It's worth noting that even colistin in sub-inhibitory amounts has displayed bactericidal activity when used in combination. However, the potency of triple therapy may rely on the colistin MIC. Moreover, studies have shown that using a triple therapy regimen is more effective. Now let us take a look at newer drugs. Cifidericol, a unique siderophore cephalosporin antibiotic, has been approved by the FDA for treating complicated urinary tract infections, UTIs, and nosocomial pneumonia. Utilizing the bacterial active transport system, cifidericol's siderophore catechol and iron chelating moiety, can avoid common resistance mechanisms that other B-lactam antibiotics fail to overcome. In vitro data has demonstrated that cifidericol works effectively against colistin-resistant A. baumannii. However, while its pharmacology and in vitro activity are well documented, clinical data among patients treated with cifidericol for A. baumannii infections have not been as promising. The need for additional research on cifidericol's efficacy against A. baumannii. While cifidericol has shown promise in treating A. baumannii, it is crucial to conduct further research to determine its effectiveness and potential in combination therapies. As studies on cifidericol have been limited to monotherapy, it is yet to be determined if it will become a preferred treatment for A. baumannii infections. Until such data becomes available, it may be considered as a secondary treatment option. The need for additional research on cifidericol's efficacy against A. baumannii. While cifidericol has shown promise in treating A. baumannii, it is crucial to conduct further research to determine its effectiveness and potential in combination therapies. As studies on cifidericol have been limited to monotherapy, 
it is yet to be determined if it will become a preferred treatment for A. baumannii infections. Until such data becomes available, it may be considered as a secondary treatment option. The potential of durlobactam as a bel lactamase inhibitor. Durlobactam, a bel lactamase inhibitor that falls under the diazabacyclooctanone category, has garnered attention recently as a possible solution to A. balmany calcoacidicus complex infections. Despite lacking FDA approval, several studies have been conducted on the combination of sulbactam and durlobactam. Still on newer therapies, phage therapy, a viable replacement for antibiotics. Phage therapy, discovered in the early 1900s, is a method that uses viruses to treat bacterial infections. Strange, right? Recently, with the rise of antimicrobial resistance, phage therapy is gaining renewed interest. Despite the introduction of bacteriophages targeting A. baumannii in 2010, phage therapy faces many obstacles. These obstacles include administering the same therapeutic to each participant, which can be difficult, unlike standardized clinical trial practices. Even when patients are given a standardized phage cocktail, changes throughout the treatment course are often necessary to target the evolving susceptibility of organisms. The potential of photodynamic research to tackle drug-resistant infections. Researchers have proposed the use of photodynamic therapy, PDT, as a possible alternative approach to combat drug-resistant infections. A recent in vitro study examined the effects of PDT and colistin on pan-drug-resistant Acinetobacter baumannii. The results showed that combining PDT with colistin had a synergistic effect, completely eliminating all pan-drug-resistant bacteria. Exploring the potential of repurposed drugs in combating antibiotic resistance. A new trend in the field of medicine is repurposing existing drugs for new uses, a technique which has become particularly relevant in the fight against antibiotic resistance. One example is the use of elliptocene, a natural alkaloid initially used as an anti-cancer agent, which has been found to be effective against colistin-resistant E. coli. Similarly, niclosamide, an anthelmintic drug, has shown potential in combination with colistin for the treatment of colistin-resistant gram-negative bacillary infections. Non-antibiotic anthelmintic molecules, in combination with colistin, have also been shown to be effective against colistin-resistant gram-negative bacteria. The importance of pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic parameters in achieving clinical success. In as far as the treatment of resistant bugs is concerned, customizing antibacterial dosages has gained significant attention with the use of pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic parameters. This approach takes into consideration both the drug's properties and the pathogen and host characteristics. Extended infusion b lactams, a promising solution for treating gram-negative bacteria. Studies have established that extended infusion b lactams, such as cefepime, piperacillin-tazobactam, and the carbapenems, meropenem, imipenem, and doripenem, are an effective treatment for gram-negative bacteria. One of the key advantages of extended infusion BL lactams is their ability to sustain drug concentrations above the MIC for longer durations, particularly for less susceptible organisms. Thank you for taking the time to watch. If you enjoyed our video, please like and subscribe to our channel.